Hello! Um, so it's officially summer in Chicago. Uh, I think our all of our 60s days are done, so I have all the windows open. So again, I apologize in advance for any possible noises. I also live near a fire station, <laughs> so that makes it really fun and interesting. Um, so I wanted to teach today on this whole concept of what stories do you have or what stories are you telling yourself that that you that you receive love for so we all have stories around different areas of our life we have stories around our finances we have stories around our relationships we have stories around our health we have stories around our childhood we have stories around our future like we have stories around everything right and the reason we have stories is because ego so ego connects us to our stories and ego is ultimately trying to keep us safe so what happens is when we connect ourselves to a story then we we don't want to change that story because we believe ego believes that if we change that story if we no longer have that story and we've been connected to it then we die um, and so I learned this really powerful concept from Kyle Cease when he talked about the stories that we tell ourselves are usually how we receive love. And so think about it, like think about stories you might have around your finances, think about stories you might have around your health, think about stories you might have around your relationships. A lot of times we hold on to these stories so that, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. I'll give some examples because this was coming up in my mindset calls. It came up um, on a call with a client and then it came up in some mindset calls. So there was a client who I was working with on her finances, on her, on her money. And um, we were kind of looking back at some of her, some of her financial patterns and she was, she, she explained to me that when she was really in a bind, she was able to reach out to her mom to kind of get bailed out and and I and I asked her how her relationship normally is with her mom and she said it's not it's not really that great like they're not super close so then I was I was like okay so what you're what you're saying ultimately is that you were able to receive love from your mom by through money right through being financially bailed out and um, because otherwise the relationship, the connection, the love isn't really there. So you're, you're kind of keeping yourself small so that if you want to have this connection with your mom, then you can have this connection with your mom. Um, I have, I've experienced this in my relationship. So how we create our stories, right, is anything, when we say I am, anything we follow I am with becomes our identity, is how we identify. And so when you say, I am broke, I am tired, I am sick, I am whatever, then ego believes this to be true. And so you've identified with that. And when you, when you stick with that, then it, in order to change that, it becomes death of that story. And when you've connected I am to it, it becomes the death of you. Um, and so I have had in the past, I finally broke it through the story, but I had a story for a really long time that I was difficult to love. I had two stories around relationships. I was difficult to love and I was easy to leave. Those were my two stories. And so when my reality wasn't matching the story, then I had to create drama, create chaos in my life so that my reality would then match my story. So if I had the story of I am difficult to love or I am easy to leave and my current relationship wasn't proving for that to be true, then I had to, I had to make things happen, right, in order for my reality to, um, to match that. And this absolutely played out in my last relationship. Um, I believed I wasn't worthy because I didn't love myself and I believed I was difficult to love and I believed I was easy to leave. And so every time he kept sticking around and wasn't leaving me, then I, I created this, you know, you don't think I'm difficult to love, let me show you how difficult I can be. And so it turned into this vicious cycle. It turned into um, 
me lashing out and spy, like emotionally spiraling out of control until it got to the point. So ego, ego kind of plays both sides, right? Ego creates the story that doesn't serve you. It didn't serve me to believe that I was easy to, to leave and difficult to love. But so ego creates that story. And then when you, when you make shit happen in your life to prove that story right, then ego comes back in and, and just tells you, you know, how shitty you were and that, and also that it's their fault, right? So ego plays both sides. You're a shitty person. You're difficult to love. You're easy to leave. And when they leave, it's their fault. Um, and, and so I remember, and I shared this in, in my group on your vibe, but I, I remember so clearly after one of my, um, <laughs> spiraling attacks, if you will, I, I told my ex, I said, you know, when I'm spiraling out of control and when I am lashing out, what I really need is love. And, and I, in that moment, like, I didn't know that I was supposed to give that to myself. In, in, in Ego's mind, it was his responsibility to give it to me. And so I said, you know, when I'm lashing out, then I, I need you to hold me. I need you to hug me. I need you to tell me that you're never going to leave. And I just, I need you to not fight back with me. I need you just to basically just take it, right? And he, he was like, do you know how difficult that is <laughs> when you are lashing out at me? And I was like, I know, but it's just what I need. And so after the end of the relationship, and when I really dove deep into my self-love journey, I had this big aha moment where I was like, yes, I needed love. And yes, I needed to be reassured that I wasn't going to be left. But I didn't need that from him. I needed that from me. I was responsible for giving that, giving that to myself. And, but it was this story that I had held on to because when I held on to that story, I received love for it. I also received love, you know, after the fact, um, because if, if you have, if you, if you have this story, right, that everyone leaves you and you're the victim, then everyone else feels sorry for you. And so you receive love from everyone on the outside because poor Anne got left. Um, and, and so I, I've been, like I said, I've been having these conversations with people in mindset calls. Um, a lot of people want to bring their past into the present. The only place the past exists is in your mind. Your past is not real anymore. It's not, it's, it doesn't matter anymore. But if you continue to bring it into your present and connect yourself to that story, then you're never going to change. You're never going to change because you're never going to want to give up that story because ego's telling you that if and when you give up that story, you die along with that story. So ego is trying to protect you. Ego is trying to keep you safe. Ego is your mind. Um, and so I, I've been really realizing this also. Um, I've been talking to, to people about this workshop that I'm hosting next Saturday and it's on money mindset. So yes, it's about money and it's about your mindset, but it's really, it's really not about money. It's really about how your lack of self-love, how your lack of feeling worthy um, plays out into every other area of your life. If you are not loving yourself, if you are not caring for yourself, if you are not um, filling your cup first, if you're not showing up for yourself on a daily basis, that absolutely plays out in your relationships, it plays out in your finances, it plays out in your health, it plays out in every area of your life because your outer world is always a reflection of your inner world. So I created this workshop on next Saturday because of this, because I talked to so many people who say, I would love to do X, Y, and Z, but I can't afford it. That is a story that you have. That is a story that you have created that is a story that you are holding on to and it will never change your finances will never change until you are willing to look at that story and ask yourself how am i receiving love by staying stuck financially is it that someone bails you out when you can't pay your bills is it that your friends feel sorry for you is it that you can say no to the things 
that you don't ultimately want to do and you're using the excuse of not having money, there's always an underlying reason behind it. So if, you're, if you are feeling stuck financially, if you feel like money sucks and I wish we didn't have to deal with it, I hear that a lot, <laughs> um, it's, it's never going to get better and, until you are open to looking at the stories you are telling yourself about your finances. It will never change until you're willing to look at how you feel and, and whether or not you feel worthy of making money. So the workshop is Saturday. It's from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. It is online. Um, it will be recorded, so if you're not able to make it live, you have up to a week after the fact to, um, to watch the recording. You can send me questions ahead of time. But um, I, I had to do some reflecting on how I teach because I, I love working one-on-one -on -one with you guys. I love hopping on the phone and, and really digging in deep. I love my mindset calls. I love my one-on-one -on -one clients. Um, I can only do so many of those, energetically speaking, right? I can only help so many people one-on-one. -on -one. And what I've been noticing over the last couple of weeks is that when I'm hopping on the phone on mindset calls with people, I'm giving the exact same tools over and over and over and over and over again. And so it's really not benefiting many people because I everyone needs the tools that I'm giving on the phone, but... I can't talk to every single person one-on-one -on, -one on the phone, right? So when I see a common need, um, then I create something based on that need. And so the workshops, the, I host workshops once a month. Last month was on self-love and self-care. This month is on money mindset, but it is connected to your self-love and your self-care and your self-worth. Because like I said, it's the foundation of everything and, um, and it affects every area of your life. So I saw a common need. I created a workshop for it. I know you guys need it because it's coming up in conversations that I'm having with you. So it's an hour and a half. It's $88. Um, I do have memberships as well. So Basically how my services work out is I have six one-to-one -one slots every single month um, for people who are, who are interested in investing in one-on-one -on -one coaching. You have four sessions with me in, in the month, so we talk on a weekly basis. Um, if you're not ready to invest in one-on-one -on -one coaching, either financially or time-wise, then I have membership levels. So the memberships are kind of the in-between between my free, my free groups, um, my free videos, and, and investing one-on-one. -on -one. So with my memberships, I have two levels. The Conscious Club is $33 a month, and with that you get an email check-in once a month from me. You also get half off of the workshop. So instead of it being $88, it would be $44. And then with, um, with the next level up membership is the Vibe Razor Mastermind. And with that, you get one 30-minute call with me every single month. Um, so if you've been on a mindset call with me, you're basically getting one mindset call with me every single month. Um, and then you get the workshop for free, and you also get one of my book clubs for free. And, uh, and so I, I'm hosting these workshops once a month. Um, I, I, like I said, I create them based on conversations that I'm having either in my free groups, things I'm seeing on, on Facebook that I know people are needing, or um, when I'm talking one-on-one -on -one with my clients or in my mindset calls. So um, money mentality is a big one, and I also know that for, for me, taking Amanda's money course and really seeing that all of my limiting beliefs around money had nothing to do with money. It, w it had everything to do with my self-love and my self-worth. And so I teach everything based on that. So if you're interested, I'm going to post the link. If you have any questions about anything, definitely feel free to comment below or reach out to me. And I look forward to working with you guys next Saturday. Have a good day.